Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can transfer user and also game save data from one Nintendo Switch over to another. Now Nintendo allowed this a few months ago with the 4.0 update that came out and it's a really useful thing to have because this for example might be like your family switch and you might have four or five users on here and if one of them gets their own switch as long as they've got a Nintendo account they can then transfer their user and the game save data from just that one user onto a new Nintendo switch so if they were halfway through Zelda they're still going to be halfway through Zelda so it is a really handy feature you can bring all the users across if you want as long as they've all got Nintendo accounts so for example on this one here now, I've got myself and I've got a Nintendo account and I've bought all my digital games on that particular Nintendo account. My son Ben doesn't have a Nintendo account, so I won't be able to transfer him over to here. So the example in this video is that this is a family switch and I want this to go to my son and then we're going to pretend that this is my new switch and I want to be put onto here, but I want all my details to be on here and all my game saves to be on here. So if I'm halfway through Snake Pass, I still want to be halfway through Snake Pass on here. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly show you, because I want to prove at the end that the game saves have gone over. I'm just going to show you how far I am on this game here. This is Rock and Racing Off-Road DX. And can you see here I've got Vince and Ben. So I'm going to go to Vince, press A. Right, and if I go to Championship, can you see now that I've completed four cups? So, for example, I can't go to South America Cup, but I can go to the Africa Cup, and you can see there that those cars are unlocked. Right, so let me get out of that now, and I'm just going to show you Zelda for my son. So, this is the one that you need to remember for me. And now, Zelda, I'm going to sign in as Ben, my son. And I'm just going to show you how far he is in Zelda and then you will see once I've done the transfer that he will still be able to play Zelda on this at the same level and I will be able to play my games on here at my level so for example on that rock and racing game I will still be on that championship that I'm on right so you can see now that this is the level where he is so just remember that uh, Link is on the horse there Right, now I'm going to show you how to do this transfer. Now to do the transfer, we're going to have to have both connected to the internet and they're going to have to be both connected up to chargers. As well as that, the one that we're moving to will have to have no more than six users already on it because you can only have a maximum of seven users on the Nintendo Switch. So it has to be six and under to to be able to move on it. Now it's not a problem on here because this one here, although I call it a new switch, it's not, it's actually very old. It's just that for a previous video I put it back to factory settings. So this has only got one user, but it's not a real user, it just says test because that's what I'm doing here. I had to put something on it just to show you. So when I get myself on set up on this one here, I will then delete that user. So we're going to have one user on here which is going to be me and the other user on here which is going to be my son Ben. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to system settings press A and we're going to go down to user and I'm going to go on to where it says transfer your user and save data and press A and now it says transfer one user and save data associated with the Nintendo account to a nearby console the transfer user and save data will be deleted from the original console so everything that I've got on here will now be deleted. Now, because a lot of my games are digital games, I am going to have to re-download them all from the Nintendo eShop, but that will be free. They know that I've already got the license to play that game, so I won't have to pay for that again. Unfortunately, my son Ben on this one here will no longer be able to play the digital games. Now remember, I am just doing this for the purpose of the video. So when this video is complete, I'm then going to transfer all my information from here back onto this switch again because it's not a problem me and my son being on the same switch here. You can do this as many times as you like. It's not like Xbox where you can only do your home console so many times a year. You can go back and forth as much as you like but obviously it's going to be a pain in the backside having to download all the games on here so you know it's the sort of thing you're probably only going to do the once. Right so now I'm going to go to next 
and it says about other data. So look, downloadable software purchased by the transferred user will no longer be playable on the original console, but can be played on the target console by downloading it again from the Nintendo eShop. So this one here, the old one's gonna be called a source console, and the new one's gonna be called a target console. Now, other about other data, it's just gonna say that screenshots and video taken using the original console will not be transferred. So I'm not gonna be able to get the screenshots and stuff over to the new console. I presume you will be able to put your micro SD card from here into your computer or your laptop and then download those images and then when you put another micro SD card or the same micro SD card into here and format it so it's going to be wiped when we put it into here because we can't share the micro SD cards between the two of them then what I can do is once it's formatted on here I can then take it out put it into my computer and then download a Nintendo file onto it and that should have my screenshots and my video for me it's not a problem I don't use the screenshot so that's not an issue for me but if screenshots are really important to you look into how to do that I presume that would work but I'm not going to be doing that in this video right okay so I'm just going to go to close there go to next and now it says, please connect the AC adapter. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Right, and now it says, please prepare the source console as well as the target console to which the user will be transferred. Which console are you currently using? And it says you will need a Nintendo account information for the user that you wish to transfer. Remember, you can only transfer users that have a Nintendo account. So this one's gonna be the source console. This is my old one. This is the one I'm currently on. And which one do I want to transfer? Now, just to show you, if I was to do, Ben, it's just going to say that no Nintendo account is linked. So I can create one, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to transfer myself. So I'm going to go to Vince. Okay, and now it says the following data will be transferred for Vince. User information and save data. So I'm going to go to continue. Right, okay. So it says, please, please continue the preparations on the target console. So this is where we go over here, and we're going to do the same again. We're going to go to System Settings. We're going to go to User, and now I'm going to go to Transfer Your User and Save Data. Next. Next. Please connect the AC adapter. And now this is going to be the Target Console. Please sign in. So now I'm going to sign in. Okay, sign in using email address or sign in ID. Now obviously I have to sign in off camera, but this is just where you're gonna put in your email and your password or your sign in ID and your password. So I'm gonna come back to this in a minute now. Right, it's just saying please wait, so I entered in my uh, details. And now it says Vince will be transferred to this console. Please ready the console from which Vince will be transferred. Okay, so press next. Okay, so now you can see here that it's found both consoles. So now we've got to go onto here and it says searching. Well, it did say searching, it's just suddenly come up with that one there. And now as soon as I hit transfer, it's gonna start doing it. So let's go to transfer. It says transfer user information and save data for Vince. And now it says here, transferring user information and save data for Vince. Right, so I presume this process is gonna take quite some time. Oh, actually, maybe not, it just says two minutes remaining. Right, let me just hold this one up here then. Now, it says that you have to hold them close to each other, so I presume this is the same as kind of wireless play where they're just communicating with each other. Although it does have to be connected to the internet, I think that's just to allow it to do the Nintendo, you know, signing into the Nintendo account. So it'll be unlinking it from this one and then linking it to that one. So I presume that's what you need internet for. Right, it says here on this one, user information and save data for Vince has been transferred. So I'm just gonna to go to end. Right, okay, so that looks like that part there is done. So now we're just gonna wait for this to finish up. 
There we go, user information and save data for Vince has been transferred. End. That was quite painless. Right, so first things first, I'm just going to delete that old user now because I was forced to put that one on there. So let me just get rid of that. System settings, user, delete user, continue. Delete this user. Right, okay, so now it should be just me. Yeah, so it's just me up there, and on this one here, it is now just Ben. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Nintendo eShop and get our digital copies of the games back on here. Right, I'm going to just click on my icon up here. See on the left hand side I've got an option to just re-download. And here we have them all, you see, look, Blazing Star, Metal Slug. So let's just go to the one I showed you earlier. Obviously, it's going to take a while to download all these. There, this one here. And can you see the little cloud with the arrow down? So I'm going to re-download that by just tapping that. OK, and I'll just leave it on that one for the moment. Right, I'm just going to have to borrow the Joy-Con from here. I broke my, uh, my right Joy-Con, so I have to get myself another one because I was trying to get the inside of it working on a power glove. Right, OK. So now, can you see this is coming up here and it's just downloading. So while that's downloading, let me go to Zelda. Now, on Zelda, let me just take this again. On Zelda, it's a physical copy. So I can get rid of this now. It is uh, an actual physical copy. So Ben, my son, will still be able to play all the physical games on here. He just won't be able to play the digital games. So for example, if I was to try to play this game now, which I'm downloading on here, this is a digital game and I won't be able to play it. You see, there's a possibility that the Nintendo account used uh, to purchase the software has been unlinked or that the console is no longer registered as the active console. So if I was to check, it's just going to see if it can be played. And there you go, you cannot play this software. Yeah, so if I go to a physical game like Zelda, then obviously I will be able to play it. And he should be at the same level that he was at before. So let me just fast forward through this. Let's go to continue. Yeah, and there you go, exactly the same as he was before. Right, and that's just downloaded now, so I'll be able to play that in a minute and just check the save data has definitely worked on that one. Right, and there you go, you can see he's on the horse again. The same stage that you've seen at the beginning of the video. Right, okay, so that's that one there. Now I just want to double check that the screenshots are still on here. Yeah, so all the screenshots are still there. As I say, for me, that's not a problem. But on here, there will be no screenshots. Yeah, so it doesn't. Well, there's only one because I took that by accident. So, uh, yeah, screenshots definitely don't transfer over, just like Nintendo said. So now let's go to this one here, just to see if we're on the same level. Now remember, this is only going to be good if you've still got a working Nintendo Switch. Let's say now, if this one's broken, you won't be able to transfer the data over to this. And also, you won't be able to do it if it's stolen, because you need both consoles, because all of your game saved data is not in the cloud. If it was in the cloud, it wouldn't be a problem, like Xbox and PlayStation. It's stored on the actual console, and that's why it makes this such an issue. If it was on the cloud, it wouldn't matter, because you could just go onto any single Nintendo Switch and get your, all your information downloaded to it so unfortunately if you were to get this stolen then you're going to have to start everything from scratch again I don't know if there's a way that well there wouldn't be a way I was going to say I don't know if there's a way Nintendo can do it but they can't because it's stored on the actual memory of the console itself so if it's broken lost or stolen you're going to have to start everything from scratch again but where it might come in handy is let's say for example if your nintendo switch starts to play up a bit and maybe this part of the screen that's not responding properly before it breaks completely you might then have the option to be able to get yourself a new switch if you've got the money and transfer this over to that new switch unless of course you were to send it back to nintendo for repair but as these get older and older, then it might not be cost effective to pay the big repair bill when as the price comes down in the future, it might be just cheaper to go out and get a new switch. Rocket Racing Off-Road. Right, let's go to Championship. There you go. You can see now, again, I can play exactly the same as where I left off before, Africa Cup. 
and they're the four cards that are unlocked. So now what I'll have to do is I'll have to re-download all those other games and then physical games will be exactly the same as before. You just put your physical game in and then you're just going to take off from where you left off before. So there you go, that's how you transfer a user from one switch over to another switch. So I hope you found this video useful. I know the information's been out there for a while, but sometimes it's hard when you're just reading on screen to fully understand it. So hopefully by watching this video, you can actually see that it is very straightforward to do. And now, you know, the Nintendo Switch games download real quick, especially if you've got an okay internet connection. So it won't take me long now to get my 10 or so digital games back onto this one here. And then you can have this one up and running I reckon in a couple of hours you'll be all set up and ready to go again. So uh, yeah, if this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.